Today we're going to be learning more about the water holding frog. Where does it live? The water holding frog, Latoria platycephalia, lives in Australia. During the rainy season, the frog absorbs water and in doing so puts on 50% of its own body weight. To keep from losing water during the dry months, it creates an underground home to stay in. Since the mud is still wet from the rainy season, it is able to burrow down more than three feet or one meter beneath the surface. It enters a summer hibernation and can stay underground waiting for the next rainy season. When it senses the water from heavy rains, it wakes up and starts to resurface. Storing water. The water holding frog stores water in its bladder and beneath its skin. Living well. Aborigines used to dig up the frog to extract drinking water. They used the frog as a living well. To gain access to the water, they squeezed the frog. Feeding time. When active above the ground, it lives in water bodies. It feeds on other frogs, tadpoles, and small insects. Egg laying. A female usually lays more than 500 eggs at one time. She lays her eggs and then goes into a hibernation. She enters the state in order to prevent damage from extreme dryness and heat. Now, it mentioned that the water holding frog goes into a type of hibernation, but the term for the water holding frog's sleep is estivation because it usually happens in the summer instead of calling it a hibernation. And then here we can see a picture of one. And when it's active, it lives in puddles, pools, and streams. Here we have some pictures to help us understand more about it. Is we've got a hand and then we have the frog on the hand. And the frog's about two and a third inches or six centimeters long. And then this is a map. I told you it's in Australia. And it's showing us they're widespread in Australia. Wherever it's red is the area in Australia where you would find that water holding frog. Now this picture right here, we can see the frog, how it's bloated with all the water it's consumed. You can see how its skin kind of looks stretched out. And then we have a before and after picture. So in its normal state, a water holding frog is just two and a third inches or six centimeters in length. But then this is after it's consumed the water. So when it's consumed half its own body weight in water, its body is enlarged to four and a half inches or 12 centimeters in length. So there you have the water holding frog. You can see all covered in mud.